Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Since the last episode, I did a little bit of grinding. Um, I'll show you what I did. Got to level 51. And what I did is I mastered in all materia by fighting um, enemies in the medial area in the forest. They had dropped some pretty good uh, AP, like up to 300. And if you double, if you have the double weapon, that's 600 AP per battle, so that is a very good place to grind for AP, at least at this point in the game. So I mastered in all materia, and what I'm going to be doing with that is I'm going to sell it for money. One million gil to be exact, and trust me, I'm going to need all of it for uh, raising chocobos, which I'm going to at least try to start to do right now. So, um, I'll just sell it here. At least I think I'll be able to. We haven't been here to Calm in a long time, so hey, why not? Okay. I hope this works out. All the material is basically the best, or the easiest one to build up to master. So, and you get, like, a, a million gil for it. See? Look at that. Okay, more than a million. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to sell that. So now I have a buttload of money, <laughs> and I'm going to show you something uh, to start with uh, breeding chocobos. And you're going to need to know this, so, alright, it's a mountain area over here in the northern continent. I think it's right on the other, near, um, yeah, this is it. It's right, that's the icicle village is over here. See, right there. So, if you need to know, it's just, like, northeast, so. Alright, this little hut here is where we want to go. Oh, what's this? Wark. And, what do we get? Our fourth enemy skill materia. Alright, ho oh, ho, it's unusual for people to come to such an out-of-the-way place. Can't remember how many years it's been since the last person came. Who are you? Me? I'm... I don't know. <laughs> you don't know who you are? Been a while since I gave it any thought. Wonder what they used to call me. Oh yeah, they used to call me the Chocobo Sage. That's right. Right, that was it. The Chocobo Sage. No one would forget that. <laughs> now what can I do for you? Um, so, and he sells the best greens in the game. Trust me, these are what you want, you want at least 50 of these, is what I'm going to go for right at this point. And these, I'll get a few, not a whole lot, I'll get 10. Because these greens here, they will help you catch the chocobos, well this one, it will up their stats by feeding them, so, yeah. So I'll do that just for now. I might be able to... I might have to come back here later. Anyways, this guy eventually will, uh... Oops, that's not what I want. He'll eventually tell you how to breed the different kinds of chocobos, but it, it takes a while for him to remember stuff, so... That chocobo? Well, that one is... Let's see now. I don't quite remember. Now what can I do for you? Okay. Wait, let's see if he remembers something. I doubt it, but... No. See, he won't remember. Basically, you're just gonna have to go on with the game for a little while and, and keep checking in on him, and he'll remember stuff as you go. So, all right. Now, what I want to do is go to the Chocobo farm. First and foremost. Now, I hope you've been leveling up your Chocobo lure because you are going to need it. Especially for this point in the game. Alright, what I want to go is uh, talk to Jacobo Billy and uh, rent some stalls. What I'm going to do is rent five for now. I think there's up to six. Um, how many do I. I don't know, moving. Uh, but, well, he's not going to. Is he going to sell it to me? 
Uh, you can keep only keep four Chocobos here at once. If you get a fifth one, the first one will have to let you go. If you don't want uh, to have them come back and put it in your own stable. So... How many st don't tell me I've been buying them already. I don't think so. Well, whatever. You should be able to buy stables from him. Yeah, you don't want any of these greens. They're pretty sucky. Oh, you don't even... If you want to raise the chocobo, let's go talk to Grandpa. Oh, okay, sorry, you're going to have to talk to the Grandpa, I guess. Right, I totally forgot. You have to buy the stables from him. Chocobo Bob, I think, right? Isn't that his name? Alright, Chocobo Bill, or whatever. Okay, what is it? Uh, what is, has this world come to? Stars falling and everything. The things the way they are now, how about raising a chocobo? No, I'm not trying to persuade you for money. It's just because of the state of things in the world. I thought that it would be a good and healthy thing for you to raise some chocobos. Hmm. You just happen to be in luck. It just so happens that we aren't taking care of any chocobos for anyone else, so... You take care of six, and they cost 10,000 for each stall. So... Let's, uh... Okay. You need a stable, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you run into chocobo stable, you'll keep up to four of the chocobos you catch in the fenced area outside. At a later date, you can select the chocobos that you would like to put into your chocobo stable. Chocobo stables cost 10000 so we rent it. So that's one. And I'm going to get four more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two. Three. Four. You know what, I'm just going to go for all six since I basically have the money for it, so... Okay. Told you it would cost you a lot of money. Okay. Well, is that all of them? No, I don't think so. Okay, no, I got them all. Alright, that's six of them. So what you want to do to start, get yourself started, is you want to, in order to breed chocobos, you have to use nuts. Because nobody likes roasted nuts. No, I'm kidding. Jeez. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is go to a island. What you're going to have to do is steal the nuts that you want from an enemy. I think this island right here has them. Or is it this island right here? I'm going to go with this island here. What you're looking for is a special enemy. Do I have the steel material on? I'm pretty sure I do, but I'm still... Yeah, I do. Good. Okay. And the enemies that you come across can be very difficult, these guys. I hope it's the right one. It should be a red dragon. Yep, this is the guy we want. These guys have like 30,000 hit points. So trust me. It will take a while to get what you want. Okay, that's one, so we need to just kill him now. Bam! You're going to want at least three of them, so... Yeah. Boat ball. Like, these guys aren't that difficult. They just take a long time to kill. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste. I'm not gonna waste my MP. It'll it'll take a long time. Sorry, guys. But that ends the break. Violent advance. And when I finish this off, I might, I'll might i get the other two nuts off screen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, since I'm almost uh, coming up on my time limit in a minute or so. So, yeah. Like I said, these guys are going to take a while to kill.
So guys, how's it hanging? <laughs> he should almost be dead. At least I hope so. Haha. Uh -huh. See, I had the contain on added effect, so it stopped him. That's what the freeze does. So, well, I'm gonna just finish killing this guy while he's dead. That's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I will get two more nights off screen, and I will see you in the next episode. Godspeed, stay frosty. See ya.